Hey guys, Mike is in here, and I'm gonna go ahead and do something that I meant to do since the beginning of school, but I somehow never got around to it. So, yeah. Also, man, I love, I love just audio recordings. I don't have to, I could care less about how the video turns out. For all I know, it could just be a black screen, I really could care less. I can just put these pictures in. This is an OC drawing challenge I came across a while ago. It was a uh, 20 day challenge, I believe. Uh, I don't remember all of the things, but I'll I'll probably figure them out when I see the pictures. It's been a while since I've done this, obviously. Uh, so the first one was, uh, do your character in the opposite gender? I kind of just made, I, I kind of just got lazy on this one, and I just drew Tama with an alternate color palette because, and also that's slightly different, honey, just because you know, I didn't feel like giving. Tomo a female body, because <laughs> that also wouldn't make sense in terms of he's a freaking robot. This this one was a fun one actually when I actually started because the first one I could care less about I was just like eh let me just try this and then this one I was like all right let me see what I can do with this one. This one was I think this one was in a swimsuit, so I decided to go for the whole like at the pool annoyed kind of look. Uh, because. During the summer, I went. I was watching over. I was watching over little kids, so this I could totally see this being a thing. I could totally see me looking this annoyed. But, um. So yeah, this, this one I just had fun with. I had fun with trying to like put the fur on his head to sort of like sogging. Um. Yeah. There's really nothing too much to say about it. It's just that was just fun. Yeah. The third one. If I can find it, ah, oh, God, I hate this one so much. I got incredibly lazy on this one. So this one was just asleep, and ironically, I had procrastinated on it, and I was working all night to finish it. I was literally rushing so I could finish it before 12, so I could consider it being in the same day that it's supposed to be done. And it came out with this monstrosity, god dang it. I, I legitimately hate this picture. Moving on. Uh, oh, this one was fun. I I took a lot of creative liberty when I when it came to this one. So number four was younger. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and give you guys a few seconds to think of what Tama would look like younger. <laughs> yeah, you have that image in your head. Good. Here's this. <laughs> I, I took this prompt and it was basically like, screw you, I'm going to do something unexpected. Here's him in pre-development. Well, not pre-development, obviously, but, you know what I mean, mid-development. I had a heck of a lot of fun with this one. I pulled up Tomo's old blueprints and actually worked off of those. Um, it was, this, one was just, this one was just actually surprisingly fun to work on. Mostly because I used to like, uh, yeah, mostly because I used to really like drawing robots, so. It actually felt more like I was drawing a robot this time. <laughs> and the fifth one. Oh, th this one turned out really good, actually. I like the way this one turned out. So the fifth one was, uh. I think this one was in pajamas or something? So I went for the tired, don't talk to me till I've had my morning hot chocolate kind of look. And I feel like it kind of actually worked. I also gave, I also made his right eye kind of like slightly more droopy than the other one because that's legitimately how I am when I'm tired. And that's that's an actual. I, I'm pretty sure that's an actual pair of pajamas I have. Oh, I know. I, I probably just looked up some plaid design, but I know I have some kind of red plaid pajamas somewhere. And then just a red shirt to go with it, just because. Uh. It looks like something I'd wear on Christmas morning, to be honest. And I also, that mug is actually, uh, it's not my room anymore, but it's actually a mug that I have. Uh, it's really cool, but I don't have hot drinks enough for it to actually show. But, uh, yeah, if anyone knows what that mug is, it's basically, like, it's all black, except for, like, I think, like, a, one random ring, and then, like, his eyes. 
But like if you put anything hot in it, it will light up. Or it will show the rest of it. So yeah, that's that's the kind of thing I went for. And I feel like it worked out pretty well considering the small space I had to work with and the just the annoyance of it. Uh this one was fun. I don't oh yeah, oh yeah, six. Yeah, that's what that was. So six was I think in love? And it was in. I I try to stick. I try to stick more to the character than to the prompt. So like I I would do what would make sense with Tomo, and for reasons, it's basically impossible for him to be in love with anything. Kind of. A little bit. <laughs> also, I don't have like a girlfriend or anything. So I can't even use like a real life example. And my brother came up with the funniest thing that I actually went with. He said, well, pets are a thing. So, and he suggested draw him with a Tamagotchi and that's exactly what I did. <laughs> that is exactly what I did there. Also, that's an S, well, that's the best I could draw the chair I actually used to have. This is this is back when I was still in, uh, the other side of my house when I recorded stuff. So yeah, that, that tells you how long it's been since I've done any of these. Oh wait, there we go. So yeah, I, I just had a lot of fun with that one because I was just like, so this is what the problem wants me to do, here's what I'm going to draw instead, which still technically works. And then 7 was a really fun one. 7, I think it said cosplaying? I believe so, and I had I, I legit had fun with that one because I was thinking, what what could I do? I I think I was originally just gonna draw him class playing a sherbet or the fluffy band show I guess would be a little bit more accurate. But uh, I like recently watched Coco when that happened. And I was like, no, this. <laughs> I I legitimately like how this one turned out. I mean, screw free, screw the background. That would have done. That would have taken way too long. If any of you guys have seen Coco, because if any of you guys have seen Coco, you know you know where this is. You know what should be behind it. Screw that noise. Holy crap! But yeah, I also had. I think I drew him first, and then I was like, oh wait, I should totally add an ab abrahita. Um, I I kind of based it off of an old cat that I had, which was like my favorite cat. Unfortunately, I do not have her anymore. She's died a while ago. So I feel like that would be that would be the most likely upper hit that I'll get, and I just sort of did that random color color palette because screw gradients on paint. MS Paint does not do gradients well. It can do but gradients for background. Background's easy, as you guys can see, but gradients for something small. Screw the next picture. <laughs> okay, I think I missed the next one actually. Probably because I was at a friend's house or something. Yeah, I missed eight. What the heck was? Hold up. What the heck was eight? I'll get I'll, I'll get back while I figure out what eight was. All right, so eight was in a school uniform, which I I think I was at Matthew's place, so I kind of forgot about it until like. The next morning. <laughs> but... Oh, where the frick is that picture? Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, no, there's there's a better one. So yeah, it was a school uniform. I know this isn't technically a school uniform, but here. That's... My brother literally suggested just show this one in place of that. Um... Agakaron's not really a school uniform, but still, just pretend it is. For the sake of... I didn't get that done. <laughs> Alright, let me find let me find the next one. So oh yeah, this one this one I turned out just kinda weird just because of the thing I was using. So this one was in a tuxedo, I believe. Or like dressed up snazzy. Let me check that. Uh yeah. Yeah, dressed up slash snazzy. Um, I just kind of put him in a tuxedo, and it just ultimately looked weird. I don't know, it, it just looks... that That's the only input I have, it just looks weird. 
Uh, oh, oh, this one was fun. So number ten was uh, in a chibi style. So I drew this. <laughs> it looks like he simultaneously wants to be your friend and also murder you <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> about this picture. I forgot about half of these. These are, these are great. I, had a, I, I legit had a lot of fun with this one. <laughs> it's, it's so simple, but at the same time, it was just, I don't know, it was just fun. Uh, what the frick was 11? 11 was with a pet. Yeah, with a pet. And uh, I have like legit one thing to say about this picture. Obvious Rick Griffin reference is obvious. <laughs> I hope there's people who read that comic, and I and I don't. I'm not the only one on my entire channel who actually has read the comic, or at least at least I, I hope at least people some people know who this is, because if not, it's just it's just a reference that I can make and no one would get, which is apparently my talent, the ability to make references no one can get. Or at least, no, not no one, sorry. I can make references that only the person or people that I'm making the reference to won't get, but a lot of other people will get. As to how that works, I don't know. I think it's the one drawback to my luck. I'm incredibly lucky, but except for when it makes ref when I make references. Uh, what the heck was 12? Oh yeah, 12 was with each other. I... Didn't really know what this one meant at the time, because it's it, it it doesn't reference anything specifically. It's just saying with each other. So I just drew him with another OC, and this is what you get. If anyone still remembers who this character is, <laughs> legitimately one of the favorite ones I've made. Um, it's, it's, this this picture basically made me realize how and how easy it is to draw a Tomo, but how hard it is to draw him well in any given scenario. Whereas for some reason the hard one to draw is easy to put is easy to put in different poses in different scenarios. Somehow. Don't ask me how. I wouldn't necessarily call protogens easy to draw. But I I, I still do really like that picture though. Um, what was, what was 13? I want to say in the snow? In winter clothes. Okay, close enough. So I kind of drew a little bit of what I remember my old elementary school jacket to look like. Even though it looks nothing like this, this make, looks more like a hoodie than whatever the heck kind of jacket that used to be. And I just sort of draw, drew that new, well not drew, I I used the freaking gradient trick because holy crap, gradients are annoying in MS Paint. I just pour, sort of put a uh, wintry gradient behind them. I mean, this picture's pretty cute. Nothing special about it. Just it was a really simple prompt. And uh, fourteen what was fourteen. Fourteen was beaten up. This one I saw in the thing, and I was like, oh, I cannot wait till I draw that one. I I was trying to think of what I could do. And so I kind of remembered why I did the previous two days, or I remember, not previous two days, but two days ago, with, uh, 12. So I was like, alright, that's their first fight. Here's later. <laughs> Immediately changes. I don't know, I, I probably would have just drawn him looking like Yamcha if I didn't do this. Because everyone knows how great Yamcha is at dying. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot more people would get that than the Rick Griffin reference. So yeah, I'm just now starting to realize how weird his eye kind of looks. But eh, who the frick cares at this point. So yeah, that's, that's Tomo losing a fight, for once. I keep skipping past the pictures by, accident, by total accident. Uh, well, apparently I missed 15. What was that? Oh yeah, 15, in their underwear. I think what happened was... I don't, I don't remember what happened with this one. I think I went to a friend's house again, and when I came back, I had time to do this, and I legitimately was like, I'm going to bed, because I just did not want to do that. And 16, okay, I can just tell from the picture 
what 16 was. 16 was wear what I'm wearing right now. So I just drew him in this shirt because I was legitimately wearing that shirt when I drew this. I mean, there's really nothing to say about this. Just, just him wearing that shirt. Oh yeah, 17 was kind of odd. 17 just said uh, personality switch. I, I wasn't sure what that one meant, so I just sort of gave him the opposite of his own personality. Since Tom was usually more cheerful, more like, just like, I don't know, kind of like, kind of like that person who just sort of more carefree, more calm. So I drew him as a raging demon. <laughs> Perfect. Also, I was trying something with the ears. I don't remember what I was trying, but it clearly didn't work. I just made him look as angry as possible. Um, I missed 18. What was 18? Oh yeah, 18. With a Jaden Smith tweet, I did not understand that one at all. Like, I was just legitimately confused on how to do that one, so I missed that one. 19. In a dress. I kind of just made fun of this prompt with this. Yes, I drew it, but at the same time, why is that prompt a thing? This is this is basically exactly how I feel about this pic about that prompt. Just why? And I'm shot past all the pictures again. Uh, twenty. What the heck was twenty? Oh yeah, and twenty was in a normal outfit. So I also kind of had to have fun with this one as well. <laughs> Because this one, this is more of what I would wear in real life. Like, those shorts are straight up what I wear. Like, either that or black shorts every day I basically wear. And then that, that's an old shirt that I had before. I doubt I still have, I highly doubt I still have it. And if I do, it probably does not fit me anymore. But, yeah. I just sort of drew him with his jacket and then I just sort of drew what I would wear. And that belt also is legitimately a belt I have. And I still wear. But yeah, I feel like this, kind of, this prompt was kind of just... Meh. I mean, I was drawing for like... 19 days, and then I got to this one, and I was like, Wow, this one's boring. I mean, what if... What if... What if the character already... Exactly wore normal clothes? What would you do then? But yeah, that, that was... That was all that. Uh, Matt, Matthew also did it. He did a 30 day one, he put it on Amino. I didn't have Amino at that time, now I have two Aminos. <laughs> but, um, I don't really know how to use Amino. I'll probably end up putting these on Amino anyways. But I, I decided to just stick with what I'm used to. Used, I'm used to YouTube. And my friends have learned the hard truth of how much I don't know how to use anything else. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all, that's all for that. And... I'm surprised. Uh, I guess I don't know. I guess my brother's at work and my parents are off doing something. So I'm. I'm I guess it's not really that surprising. They're still not here. I kind of. I kind of just sort of seized this chance. I was like, all right, literally no one's here. Who cares about my volume control? <laughs> Let's do this crap. Anyway, so that was the that was the 20 day challenge that I did. Um, I meant to do this several several weeks ago. Um yeah, that was basically it. See you guys in the next video. Later.